In this session, we're going to be making a Jacon sponge, also known as Jacon's biscuit. Um, it's cut, it's um, put into a tray and baked very thin. It's used as a base to mousses, uh, bagoire, and then used in entremets like uh, opera. Um, because of uh, the type of sponge it is, once it's baked, it can also um, have syrup soaked into it and things like that, and it can hold together and be quite robust. Um, with the recipe that I've put there, I've put plain or gluten-free flour. There's such a small amount of flour in this recipe, it doesn't matter if you replace it, um, replace the plain flour with gluten-free flour, so that's completely up to you. These days it's so fashionable, and um, I just find it's easy to use gluten-free flour. Okay, so what I've got here, I've obviously got my ground almonds, ready to whisk up. I'm then gonna add two eggs, What I'm going to do, put them onto the mixer here, and I'm going to aerate them for about 8 to 10 minutes. I want them to be pale and at the brilliant stage. So my mixture has gone really light and pale, it's at the ribbon stage. Next thing I need to add is the little bit of flour I've got and some butter that I've melted and cooled. Um, before I do that though, I'm just going to make the French meringue. So I've got uh, 50 grams of egg white, a pinch of salt in there, and then what I'm going to do is make my French meringue and uh, put everything together. meringue made. Now we're going to sift the flour in. And what I'm going to do, just fold it using the, the whisk, I find that works better. And now I'm just going to add the butter as well. So that's been cooled, it's not hot, don't want it hot. And you add uh, melted butter to the, to the cake mix, it should have been melted and cooled. So that's come together already. And now what I'm going to do, hold my meringue in. This is the part where it can go wrong. You overwork this, you end up with a, a runny mixture. Make sure that all the bit on the bottom has come away. And just come from underneath and just shake it through the, through the whisk. It should look light and loosey. You should be able to easily draw a figure of eight into it. But that's already come together. Do into this mold, and I know, I know if this is aerated right, and it's been made well, because it should perfectly fit. 
this Swiss roll mat. If it doesn't, if it's shy, um, there's a bit of poor aeration in the mix. Pastry ruler here. Just going to push to one side, push to the other. I just want to work fairly quickly now because I just want to get this in the oven. I've already got my oven ready. It's at 180 degrees. It takes 10 minutes. too hard I'm just pushing lightly because otherwise the suction just pulls the, the, the batter away and it ends up dipping so there you go that's now ready to go in the oven so here I have my uh, jacon biscuit or jacon sponge whatever you want to call it um, and that now just needs to cool I can take that off the tray leave that to cool complete before you cut it obviously if you cut it beforehand while it's still cooling it can shrink but uh, like I say, um, I'm going to use it to make it as a base for bagwar, um, but you can also use it for a base for mousse. It's uh, also used in things like copper and different uh, types of mantra.